Hi everyone, Joe Soto here, and I recently got a message from one of my students who said that she was really good at selling other people's services, but wasn't very good at selling her own services. She had sold, you know, real estate in the past. She was great at referring and selling people on other people's products and services, but when it came to selling her own agency marketing services, she wasn't very good at it. She was hung up on this. And so my response was that that stems from a fear of not being able to deliver results. Okay, so how many of you that are watching this have ever been in a situation where you, you, know, you were really good at selling somebody else's services, or maybe you worked for a company where you killed it? You were making sales, you were closing new business, but now as an entrepreneur in your own venture, whether you're a consultant or you're an agency owner, and you're trying to sell your own marketing services or consulting services, maybe you're selling social media or you're selling SEO or whatever it might be, and now all of a sudden you can't sell yourself out of a paper bag. Well, that you have to kind of self-evaluate and realize it isn't the market, it isn't other people, it isn't your prospects, it isn't the wrong niche, it's you. It is a fear <clears throat> that you don't either A, have enough belief in yourself to build your biz own business, but most likely it's a fear that you can't deliver on the results that you'll be selling and promising, okay? Which means you have a moral compass. It means you have some integrity. I'm driving right now, so I apologize for the loud bus in the background and people passing. I'm on my way to my office. But I did want to do, share with you my thoughts on this um, while we head out. Now I'm moving, so I won't be looking right at you all the time. But let's think about this for a second. <clears throat> you, don't have, you have a fear that you can't deliver the results, which is an implication. It's, it's actually a presupposition that you're the one delivering the results. Some of you are so busy trying to learn everything there is to learn about digital marketing and <clears throat> social media and Facebook advertising and all these other things that you have not stopped for a moment and realized whether or not you should be trying to learn all that stuff. You see, when you look at some of the great entrepreneurs, you know, Elon Musk, Steve Jobs, Bill Gates, he's kind of the exception because he's so technical. But you look at all these entrepreneurs, they didn't build their companies and their businesses by knowing how to do all of the small technical stuff themselves. Steve Jobs, you know, aside from studying fonts and design, did not know how to build an iPhone, an iPad, or anything else that he built that delivered a result to his clients. He knew strategically what he wanted and he knew what he needed in order to scale and build his business, which was at the time when he started money, so he could fund and pay the people to do the work. So is it possible to get to six figures a year in income by going out there and getting five clients at $2,000 a piece? That gets you to $10,000 in monthly revenue, that's a small amount to charge by the way, should be on the small end of your scale of what you should charge for your services, otherwise you've got to get your pricing right 100%. There's no ifs, ands, or buts about that. But if you go out there and get 10, then that, let's say that you need to keep, you want to keep 8,000 of that, because 8,000 over the course of 12 months is $96,000, it's about a six figure in your income. Well, then you got $2,000, you could be taking that as an expense and putting it towards a very capable Facebook advertising manager, maybe even two of them for $1,000 a piece to manage those 10 accounts. And they absolutely can do it. So my question is, if you know it's possible to go out there and find 10 clients at $2,000 a piece, and hire a couple of people at $1,000 a month just to manage Facebook advertising for those clients and some campaigns. You might even find one person at $2,000 that'll manage all 10 because they're rock stars, but, or you might find 
Sorry for the ambulance here. You might find three people at, you know, 750 or whatever, whatever it comes out to. I can't even do division here while I'm driving. You know, to, to do your to do your work for you. So, you know, you don't have to deliver on the work that you're selling. But an entrepreneur, the most important skill, aside from operationally and being able to run a business, peop the people skills and the management skills that go along with that, the most important skill that if you don't have it, you're dead in the water, is the ability to sell and acquire a new customer. So where should your attention and focus be? Some of you are spending all this time taking courses. You're, you're learning social media. You're taking every course out there on digital marketing and social media that you possibly can. And most of you aren't finishing the courses that you're buying. You're not getting all the way through them. Or if you are, you're kind of going, now what? Now I know how to do a Facebook ad. I know how to do custom audiences. I know how to get fancy and do lead ads and do lead generation. But see, that isn't what's gonna help you build financial freedom in your life. What's gonna help you build financial freedom is being able to out there and create cash flow for your business. You need cash flow. If you're watching this and you work a job and you wanna be a consultant, you've gotta get your mind right. You've gotta understand that it's about going out there and just finding a handful of customers at the right fee and you're free. You are absolutely free. Most of you would be free to work for yourselves 100% if you were making between ten and $20,000 a month. I'm gonna say most of you. Some of you watching, you need to earn more than that. Some of you watching are like, heck, I, I think I could go full time for myself if I was making $5,000 a month. I don't know what your number is, but I know that it's not a lot of clients. So. If it's not a lot of clients, and I know that to be true because I started doing this in 2009, 10, is when my agency officially started, then, uh, I, then it's, and, and I know it to be true, so it isn't a debate of whether or not it's true that you can go out and get the clients. It isn't a debate of whether or not you're in the right niche. It's a, it, the debate is inside your head. It is, is my mind right? is my belief level where it needs to be so I can go out there and find clients, okay? And then, you know, the other piece you can learn, you can learn, and I, I go through this in my course, some of you are in my course, I go through this extensively how to go out there and find clients. There, is, there, are, there are more than 17 ways, right? I, I give the 17 ways to find clients, there's more than that. There's all kinds of, and some people, which one do I pick? Pick them all, try them all and see which one works for you. Pick three or four of them, see which works for you. When I first got started, we were going to networking events locally. We were out there shaking hands and meeting, not just other business owners, because sometimes they didn't show up to the networking events. We went out there and we met with salespeople of other business owners, <clears throat> of other businesses. We shook hands, built relationships, networked and ultimately got referred in or got invited in or we got the contact information of the owners of businesses we could help. And we did this with, with the attitude of massive action when we first got started. You've all read Tony Robbins. He says take massive action. And some of you just aren't doing that. You know, maybe networking isn't for you. So you're going, okay, what do I do online? Well, here's the thing. Networking wasn't for me either. The truth is I'm more of an introvert than I am an extrovert. I prefer to stay home behind my computer, isolated with a bunch of books and my, and, and my office. Aside from wanting to be around my family and friends, I don't want to, I don't get out there very often. So, but when I started my business for my first couple of years, I was at every local networking event I could go to because I knew that would be part of what it took. I responded to people and talked to people on LinkedIn. I didn't pitch them on LinkedIn. I didn't try to sell my services on LinkedIn. I never try to sell my services through email. I never try to sell my services through Facebook Messenger. However, I do engage with prospective business owners and I did a lot when in the first couple of years of me starting on LinkedIn and I found out how I could help them. I referred them business even when it didn't benefit me at all. I took a sincere interest in other people. It's Dale Carnegie one-on-one. -on -one. It's Dale Carnegie, it's, it's how to win friends and influence people. It's Dale Carnegie one-on-one -on -one applied to agency marketing and salesmanship. So go back and read that book and apply it to what you're doing.
you know, and say, okay, well, how do I take a sincere interest in other people and, and actually add value to them in their lives so I can earn their trust and their relationship and they might refer some business to me or I might get some doors opened up for me. It will happen for you, but you gotta do that too. So are you doing outreach on Facebook? Are you doing outreach on LinkedIn? Well, I started this by talking about the fear of you being able to deliver your services, right? And I'm focusing on how do you go get clients because learning the digital piece, the technical pieces, will stunt your growth. You will, you may, you may, what are you gonna do? Help, you can't help more than four to six clients at a time with their own digital marketing. That would take all your time. So if you're helping four to six people because you've maxed out your client load with what you can deliver on, you cannot grow a business to six figures or seven figures or beyond that doing it all yourself. You just can't. So at some point, you're gonna have to hire somebody to do it. So some of you go, well, I wanna know it enough first so I can train and hire my own people. That, that's a belief system. And that's a belief system that's slowing you down. Some of you go, well, Joe, I have to, if I know Facebook advertising, then I know what to look for. And I go, okay, that's true. And I have a little bit of that in me too. And I did take time to learn Facebook advertising, although I do not know it as well as some people on my team or, so, or, or as well as a lot of people out there in the world. But what I do know is how to go get clients, build relationships and build trust with those clients and help them and take a sincere interest in them and find out what it is they need. And then I can in turn uh, deliver results because I'll hire the right people to do it. So where do you find those people? You find them on Craigslist, you find them on upwork.com, you find them on you know, Pro Blogger. Uh, they have a great website for content people and social media people. A job board, 70 bucks, place an ad. I think it's less expensive on Craigslist. And believe it or not, you'll find some good, capable, maybe college interns that are trying to build their portfolio and they want to do digital marketing. They're really wickedly good at it. They just need to learn some small pieces. So maybe put them through Facebook Blueprint to learn Facebook advertising. Maybe give them um, some lessons that you've learned on Facebook advertising to get them started because you don't need a whole lot to get people results. So here's the, and here's something I always say, you do not need to know that much more than the prospect to be able to, to get their business. You have to be able to know just a little bit more than them and enough to be able to get them a result that they can't get on their own. So I know the sun's in my face, it's kind of hard to see this video. <laughs> but there we go, put my thing down. I'm gonna repeat that. If you could help a prospect get a result that they cannot get as well or as fast or at all on their own, then you've got yourself a business. So if somebody says, I, if, if you approach a prospect who doesn't know anything about Facebook advertising, you win. You've got it right there. That's enough. Just even knowing the very basics of Facebook advertising is enough to get a local business some real success and results. As long as they're willing to spend the, an appropriate ad budget to get the results, $1,000 a month and so on. So that's the point of this video. Some of you are hung up and stuck in the land of, uh, I have to know everything before I can sell anything. And you've got to get over it and you've got to move on. So that's my, my rant for today. Uh, you know, I, I just really wish for, for you to believe in yourself and, and believe in your ability to go out there, build, build relationships, use your people skills. Some people say, well, what does it take, Joe? It takes people skills. I have a quote I've been saying since 2011, that, that, since maybe 2010, since that people skills trump social media skills. Social media changes. You know how different it is now than it was six, seven years ago? That changes, but you know what doesn't change? The ability to shake someone's hand, look them in the eye, tell them a story, share with them your success stories, case studies, your ability to ask them great questions, your ability to, to get to know someone, people skills, your ability to, to build rapport and, 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 and be able to understand someone's problem and help them define it better than they can help, help they can define it themselves. That's, that takes people skills. And that's what I would spend the majority of your time honing and learning. The other stuff you could hire out. There are plenty of people who are happy taking on accounts for 500 to a couple thousand dollars a month, depending on how large your business account and prospect is, to help you fulfill your obligations. They're out there, everywhere. And they don't have entrepreneurial aspirations. 
Their goal is not to own their own business someday. Their goal is to help someone like you who's bringing in new clients because they're good at helping and getting results for clients, but they don't know how to sell, they don't want to sell, they don't want to be an entrepreneur. And you have to understand how to separate yourself and understand that dynamic. Elon Musk does not know how to build a Tesla, but he hired the right people to, to fulfill his obligation that he made to his investors. He sold the investors that he was gonna build these electric cars that were gonna be awesome. And then he found the right people and the engineers and, 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 the, and the people in design to fulfill his obligations of what he sold. But he believed in their ability to deliver results. He believed in his ability to find the people who could deliver the results. And that's what I would suggest to you today. All right, we've already got over 15 minutes and I'm about at my office. I want you to make it a great day. Thanks guys.